All right, well, this week at Huntington Place downtown, it's all about what's next. Automate 2023 is the largest robotics and automation trade show in North America. Some of the stuff on display gives us a peek at what the future may look like. Business editor Rob Maloney spent some time going through the show today. And this convention, by the way, has a bigger footprint, Rob, than the auto show, right? It does. It covers the whole floor upstairs. And take a look at this. Um, this may be the closest to breakdancing you will ever see me do. And the robot is handling this for me. It's the ABB booth here. One of the things that they have told us is that this was here about 20 years ago and went away for 20 years. And now it's back. This is the second year and they're back stronger than ever because robots are basically the automotive industry's big thing. Huntington Place's 300,000 square foot show floor is packed with whiz-bang, shiny, moving things, and jugglers, automated jugglers. Craig Dahlquist of Lenza Americas is happy to tell us what they're showing customers with a trio of blue foam balls. Being able to synchronously work all these motors together very precisely and repeatable. Remember, these are engineers, so you're going to hear the jargon and the impressive speeds they can make their wonder wheels like this canning operation inspection robot work. Bob Bertlett of Engineered Automation of Maine explains. And we're doing the entire inspection of the label, 360 degrees around the can, um, at speeds of up to 100 per second. That's a lot of beer. And since beer gets stored on pallets, Bill Pedriana of Big Joe tells us how warehouse floors are changing. It's the world's first semi-autonomous uh, pallet truck that drops floor to floor. So essentially what happens is it's a worker empowerment technology with automation. Yet when people hear the word robot, they assume it's also replacing people. Not in this economy, says Jeff Bernstein, president of the Association for Advancing Automation. They're going into logistics. They're going into pharmaceuticals, life sciences, health care, agriculture, construction. Every industry is using robotics now. So not about replacing people, it's finding uh, finding so, a way of using less people to do more just to survive. Now they tell me out here that everybody in the building is hiring. They need people to run the robots. One of the other things you need to know about is that they're here till Thursday, all during the day, and you don't have to be an engineer or even a customer to come out. So check it out, Huntington Place, the robot show. A lot of fun. Reporting live, Rod Maloney. Local Isn't that wild? That was the question, Rod, here right. in the studio. Anybody is allowed to go in and check it out, right? Yes, sir. Good deal. All right. And it's just a few blocks away. Yeah. Yeah, madam. So if you, want to go, you were the one that asked, right? can anybody go? Yes, you can. Such a, cool. such a geek. Of course you are. <laughs> Otherwise, we were sneaking in the back door out of here. <laughs>